Hey there, this is your pal Pally, and welcome back to Get Her Raid. I'm taking a look at PTR fights for the upcoming Siege of Ogremar. Next up is Garrosh Hellscream. This is it. This is the big baddie of the expansion. For this one, it seems like you could one-tank it, but I wasn't able to get into the later phases, so I'm not quite sure. With many disconnect problems, we didn't get much time either. But anywho, it looks like 2-3 to three healable in 10-man, and looks pretty epic so far. In this first phase, you fight Garrosh, and he brings out many friends along the way. He himself only has two abilities at this point. He throws his weapon on the ground, creating a huge damaging zone. If you kill the weapon off, the zone disappears. Other than that, he just does his war song that will massively buff the adds in the fight. So what adds? Well, some grunts come out in two groups of three. They are fairly unremarkable. They sometimes hamstring targets, but that's about it. Cannon fodder for your AoE. The Shaman is more interesting as he is a typical healer add. He'll heal with greater healing wave and do some DPS with chain lightning. Please note that for every time you interrupt him, he'll cast 25% faster, so try to save interrupts for the actual heals. The last adds are Siege Engineers, and they are the really interesting part of this phase. These guys come out and start to activate these Iron Star Siege Engines. If you can kill the Engineers off, the Iron Stars won't come out. But you'll have to do it with ranged DPS and one on each side. If they come out, they will roll a big path of death and likely kill anyone they touch. The big thing is that they do damage to the adds, too. So, the strategy here is to let one Iron Star come out, root and slow the adds, and then run away when the Iron Star comes plowing through. Obviously this takes some finesse, but you'll likely need this help early on in the progression of this boss. Why? Because it seemed like we couldn't do enough damage to the boss and adds even when to healing it. If the adds don't die around this time, it'll be time for the war song from Garrosh and the adds will seriously harm your tanks. So basically this phase consists of you DPSing down the adds and Garrosh, letting the adds get rolled by the Iron Star, and then finishing them off. Note that the Iron Star still does raid-wide damage when it hits the wall, so try to be as far away from it as is practical, and then heal through the AoE. Beyond this point, I can only give you tips and strategy based on forum posts and other point of view videos. The goal of that first phase is to get Garrosh down to 10%. At that point, he throws you all into the realm of Yasarj. In here, the idea is that you need to DPS down the Shah adds, and then be able to interrupt Garrosh drawing power from the heart of Yasarj. After you interrupt him, he slams the ground with Annihilate, so just don't stand in it. After that, Garrosh heals to full, and you have to deal with many other abilities throughout the rest of the fight, bringing him back down to 10% again. These abilities can get empowered if he soaks up enough energy from Yasarj in the intermission phases. So I know at this point I'm reading from the dungeon journal and making guesses, but we might as well go through it for completion's sake. Whirling Corruption is a basic whirlwind attack. It doesn't look like it hurts too bad, but when it is empowered, it will fire a missile at a player, and when it lands, it will create an ad that must be tanked. This ad must die away from any other adds because it will buff those adds when it croaks. Touch of Yasarge will spread to your raid, and the only way to get rid of it is to let your raid member get down to 10k health. If empowered, this spell will transform your raid member into a Shah, and once again you need to get them down to 10k health before they can be freed. Desecrate is just like the weapon from Phase 1. Empowered Desecrate is basically an indestructible weapon. And finally, Gripping Despair is simply a dot on the tanks. When it becomes empowered, it will explode and do a big chunk of damage the more stacks it has. So finally, the last phase is at 30%, when Garrosh instantly gets all of his abilities empowered for the rest of the fight. It's probably the lust phase. Kill him before he overwhelms you. So take down that big baddie. Smash him adds with iron stars. Don't let Garrosh absorb a lot of power. And survive all his empowered abilities. Thanks for watching, and please comment, like, and or subscribe to the video if you found it helpful, and have a good one.